Glasgow travelled to Wales off the back of four Rabo Direct Pro 12 wins and looking for revenge, having been beaten at home by Dragons earlier in the campaign. Prop Mike Cusack back in the side after 14 months' absence with the shoulder injury. Dragons included ex-England international in their side, Duncan Bell, the former Bath prop, coming out of retirement to line out for the Welsh side. But it was the Scots who made the perfect start. Jason Tobby's kick was charged down by Rob Harley, who ran in by the posts for the first try of the game. Finn Russell converted, and the Warriors were 7-0 up with just three minutes gone. On ten minutes, Tovey kicked Dragon's first points of the afternoon with a well-struck penalty for three points to seven. Three minutes later, Mark Bennett put Glasgow seven points ahead once again with this kick from just inside the Dragon's half to leave it ten points to three. But it didn't take long for the Welsh men to respond. Ashley Smith got the ball rolling in midfield and was there in support to make the final pass to prop Owen Evans, who got over for the try. A really nice score from the Dragons, and when Toby converted, it was 10 all with just 14 minutes gone in what was proving to be a very entertaining game for the crowd at Rodney Parade. Things settled down until five minutes before the break, when Glasgow scrum half, Nico Matuwalu chipped ahead and the ball bounced beautifully for him before he ran clear with Dragons defenders in his way to notch Warriors second try of the game. The Fijian second try of the season, his first had also come against Dragons when they met earlier on. Russell converted to give Glasgow a 17-10 half-time lead. In the 56th minute, Russell landed a penalty to give the visitors a 20 points to 10 lead. And Dragons had a lot of work to do to get back into it. But Lynn Jones and Darren Edwards' side responded well. Just past the hour mark, Lock Corey Hill got over for a try, his first of the season. And that brought Dragons right back into the game. The big man from Pontypridd doing very well. And Rhys Jones converted the score to make it 17-20 and all to play for in the last quarter of the match. Russell kicked another penalty in the 67th minute to put Warriors 23-17 ahead. But it was a dangerous lead and Dragons breathed fire ten minutes from time. Matawalu's clearance kick too low. It broke to winger Ross Wardle who managed to evade two tackles before getting in for the try. Great score by Wardle, although it took a wonderful conversion from Jones, who kept his calm, to fire it between the posts for a 24-23 lead for the home side. The first time they'd led in the match. There was still time before the end for Russell to have a kick at the post to grab a late winner for Glasgow, but his kick was just short to the relief of the home support. And as the full-time whistle blew, Dragons could celebrate a sixth win of the season, which sees them seventh in the table. Warriors missed their chance to move into the top four. They remain fifth in the standings. Final score of Rodney Parade, Newport Gwent Dragons 24, Glasgow Warriors 23.